The technology that's available to support students learning changes all the time. New devices, new applications, new techniques. How on earth do we make sense of it all? This is Risk It in plain Yorkshire. Keeping up to date is tough, not least because in-service training often doesn't cater for each person's needs. They're often one-off events and invariably come at the wrong time of year. And who has the time for personal development anyway? This is Sam. She's quite the whiz with PowerPoint presentations and knows how to use them effectively. Not too much text, avoiding bullet points, plenty of imagery. She even produces interesting games where students answer questions by following a trail of links through the slides. Sam's heard that there are new online presentation tools which offer different features and are free to use. But how did she find out more? She doesn't know of any training courses, hasn't got a guidebook and as always time is at a premium. There are lots of teachers in school who are capable with some aspects of technology but are keen to develop other areas. How does school help them address these issues? A one-size-fits-all approach will help neither Sam nor the others. An external trainer wouldn't know their individual needs. Maybe there are opportunities to help each other. This is where Risk It comes in. It's a flexible approach which should help Sam and her colleagues. It's simply about having a go and follows one simple rule. Use something ICT you have not used before. Over a couple of weeks, some people might try out a tool they've not used before, which could be equipment or an application, whereas others might try a tool they have used before, but in a different way. If things don't quite work out, that's fine, because you'll still have learned something. As a whole school approach, people gain support from each other and maybe even from the students, knowing that we're all in it together. There are two parts to risk it. In the first half, people offer to showcase the things they do. Sam's invited her colleagues to a lesson where she's using PowerPoint games with a Year 8 class, and she's also going to do a 15-minute lunchtime session to de demonstrate how to create a PowerPoint game. Her ICT coordinator, Camilla, mentioned a YouTube channel that another teacher made which has got three short videos showing how to get started with Prezi. Sam's going to check out the videos, then for her risk it, prepare a Prezi to introduce renewable energies to a Year 10 physics group. This is the second half of risk it, where you take a chance trying something new. Since she risked it, Sam's rethought the way she uses presentations and sees that they can also be used as standalone self-study resources which the students can revisit because they're stored online. She spent a few minutes learning how to use Prezi for part of the curriculum she was going to be developing anyway, and a few minutes more helping out her colleagues. And for that small effort, her use of ICT has moved forward, and so did that of the five other teachers who attended her session. So how are you going to use Riskit? To find out more, check through some of the case studies on the Riskit site. Talk about it with your colleagues and above all, ask questions.